Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This Vulcan Report is for trading on April the 21st, 2016. Today is Thursday. I wanted to do a quick video just to let you know that we just had an emergency um, intervention by the Federal Reserve here in the United States to save and prop up the US dollar. Uh, this happened just moments before the opening bell, uh, the 9.30 opening bell. And what you're about to see is nothing short of amazing desperation to save the falling U.S. economy. What you're about to see should convince anyone by now that there is something definitely going on behind the scenes and people better wake up and take notice of it. Just moments before the opening bell for the stock market session, here's the scenario. The commodities markets, especially gold, silver, and soybeans, their grain complex, those markets were starting to run away. What that means is the dollar was plummeting and had broken uh, all intraday supports and was falling against the euro after the ECB released its uh, findings today saying that they were not going to uh, do anything with the interest rates. They left the rates alone. As soon as that happened, the markets were quiet, but um, the metals started to run away and gold and silver started hitting new highs and the grain market, the soybeans, was going parabolic. Um, you're going to see that in a moment. I'm going to show you that. And at and at, at that precise moment, about five minutes before the opening bell for the U.S. session, the futures market started to come off. The Dow, the S&P, Nasdaq started to come off of, of their highs too. And if you remember the prior videos I showed you, um, the markets were you know are, are testing this double top in the equities. This is a very important zone uh, to see if the markets can break through it or not, or if it's going to absolutely roll over. Well, the the equities are starting to roll over, right? Futures was was pointing to a lower opening, um, you know, when we when we started. And so what happened was, at a precise moment, everything stopped. The Fed came in and propped up the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar started falling like a stone. They came in and they propped the thing up. The euro uh, was rallying. It was getting stronger. It broke the 114 handle. And it's, at, at that precise moment, they started attacking the metals markets and buying the dollar. Also, the bond market got smoked. It was getting hit hard. The bonds were were, were, were falling. And it, for those of you who don't know, it takes an enormous amount of money to move those bond markets. That means that sovereign debt started selling. We don't know if that was China or Saudi Arabia or whoever it was, but some sovereign fund started selling those bonds. So the bond market started collapsing along with the U.S. dollar simultaneously. Okay, Then when that happened, the Fed came in and said, we got to save the dollar and started propping up the dollar. Even though the dollar had broken supports and the momentum was picking up, it was collapsing. Uh, the grain market and the metals were on fire. They were running away, going parabolic. And then all of a sudden they came in and the Fed intervened and stopped everything in its tracks. That means that it, it was systematic. The only, the only way that something like that can happen simultaneously is when the Fed is involved. All right. Uh, hedge funds and traders and institutional people and re residential people, uh, we can't move a market like that. We don't have the resources and the funds to move markets like that. The only way to move the market like that, it, it has to happen at the Fed level, where they go in and they simultaneously attack certain markets to get the movement outcome that they need. Let me show you, uh, without further delay, what exactly happened here. Let's pull up the uh, quick intraday chart here so you can see. All right. I mean, when I when you see this, it is absolutely bananas. All right. Here's what here's where we started right here. Now, it's not going to show on this chart the way I want it to, but you're going to see in a minute how 
the bar stretched parabolically. I mean, it was it was on a on a level that we have not seen in some time here, and they were able to do this. And you see the the volume when it when it picked up here. This is the this is the gold. Let me show you also. Hold on, yeah, a better picture here. This is absolutely going to blow you away when you see this. Uh, let's see. Let's pu pull up the uh, the bond real quick so you can see the bond first. All right. The bond market. Absolutely. Look at this. Look how this thing came off. Look at this. They just went in. Someone started dumping these bonds. All right. Then you're going to see here in the dollar how the dollar was absolutely toast it was it was collapsing hard and I don't know why my chart is not all right here though you see this this parabolic bar the the dollar was toast broke all supports just poof and then they came in and they propped it up and then look at poor gold and silver those, these markets were just going parabolic and then they just came in and they just look at that look at that they just came in and dumped all this is simultaneous this coincides with the bond coming off the dollar coming off and at that very moment where they stopped it you can see where they they stopped it and then look what happened here look at that silver down a buck got smashed a buck all right so you move the gold market you move the silver market and you and by by attacking the dollar so you start selling the metals and putting an enormous amount of money in the um in the uh in the bonds uh to try to stave off that and the dollar so they attack that they put money at that to stop that they couldn't stop the equities uh from falling the way they were so they let that continue to pull back but they had to save the dollar so this was an emergency ppt action to save the dollar I have not seen anything like this ever this was absolutely amazing here we go here and now look at this look at that look at that enormous move in the dollar it's up almost a buck itself we came from 9384 now it's currently at 9453 hitting new after just hitting 9463 so it's totally uh, stop now it's it's downward move it, it after breaking all supports and everything look at this look at this desperation so all the news you've been hearing about collapse and all that other stuff this is real time folks it's happening right now on our watch on this day April the 21st 2016 Thursday this is the day the dollar dies basically and the Fed came in and stopped it this is reminiscent of 9-11 when they closed the markets and busted all the trades tens of millions of dollars of pre-market activity in the forex and futures markets and commodities markets were erased eradicated as if it never happened and it's happening again right now so there's a lot going on behind the scenes and I wanted to show everyone this before you got it before they started spinning it in the news right now it's a media blackout they're not talking about what has happened uh, in in the commodities markets they're talking about uh, the president coming out and talking about Saudi Arabia all right real quick because I, I don't want to I don't want to forget this one um, you see here the oil is coming off also oil was also breaking away this morning it hit forty four dollars and fifty cents which sounds a lot like what I've been trying to tell you in the prior videos of where that trend line resistance was what did I tell you forty four forty nine is where it went and what did we hit today we hit forty four fifty right on the nose before the market fell back and currently it hit 4305 now we're at 43.125 after hitting that trend line just touched it and fell down immediately so oil was breaking away this morning the dollar was getting crushed uh, gold and silver were just breaking out I mean silver hit 1772 this morning okay um, uh, enormous movement 
only to be stopped in its tracks. So you know that, that there's definitely something nefarious going on. And I also want to mention to you real quick, this whole thing with the Saudi Arabia and the releasing of the 9-11 report. Remember the emergency meetings we had last week, okay? This is not... Um, this is not a surprise it's not a shock what you're seeing happening this week is results of last week's emergency meetings a series of emergency meetings with the plunge protection team with the white house and the president and the imf and federal reserve all these secret meetings and everything and then they have the talking heads come out uh, the first time in, in U.S. history. All the Federal Reserve heads come out, even brung, brung back Paulson uh, from, from the Treasury. Boy, all these, they marched all these people in front of you, okay, to, to basically take your eyes off of what was going on behind the scenes. And now all, here we are, and we have... All this news coming out. Also, the jobless claims came out this morning too, 276,000. Okay, so no matter how they massage the um, the employment rate, unemployment rate, it, it cannot hide the situation of the reality of the joblessness in America. So America is falling, it's crashing, and they're desperately now taking desperate measures to try to save the house of cards from totally imploding and collapsing so you guys need to know that this whole thing with the 9-11 report saying Saudi Arabia was involved you have to wake up people and know that it's foolishness notice how it came after the emergency meetings now they're saying oh by the way the, what we saved for you uh, and we're hiding and classified in these 28 pages now we're going to release it all of a sudden remember they have to have a boogeyman to go to war with that's the only way to save the economy is with war and that's what they're trying to do they try to break Saudi Arabia with this whole uh, crude oil thing with them um, uh, collapsing the price in the crude oil crude, we don't have a glut of oil there's no such thing as a glut of oil it's all fictitious it's all lies if we had a glut of oil they wouldn't stop making it because then they would they would be doing shooting themselves in the foot and losing money you have to use common sense here people there's no glut of oil if there was a glut of oil in the system we wouldn't be going to war and building pipelines and stuff over there use your brains and think about what you're seeing in the media they're lying to you the whole thing with the 9-11 commission report is false think about it this way if the 9-11 commission report is false which we know it is anyway what makes those 28 pages the truth so let me get this straight so you got 28 pages of truth within thousands of pages of lies and so that makes the whole thing truthful. Come on, that's that's absurd. Even now, now, let's 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 go the other half. Let's say that for for sake of argument that uh, the 28 pages is absolute truth, and Saudi Arabia is the mastermind behind it. They funded it and the whole nine. Okay, so let me get this straight. So nine hijackers, 12 hijackers. Oh heck, make it 50 hijackers. So these hijackers not only hijacked planes, but they also had uh, the power over our armed services and NORAD, and they had the power to send the other the, all the fighter jets out of the country. Is that what you're trying to tell me? They had and they had enough magical power to cause President Bush to read a a, a, a bedtime story to children upside down. And you're trying to tell me they orchestrated the the little chant song that the children were singing about the the plane must hit still and bring the building down. So all the facts that we have about this whole 9/11 thing, you're trying to tell me that these hijackers had enough power and reach within the, every arm and branch of our military and our um, our government to mastermind all of this. So they're the ones that put the messages, the Illuminati messages in the in the in the, in the, in the Bart Simpson cards and TV shows and all the other hints and movies that we saw and so you're trying to tell me they did all of this, right? And all this was and, and, and the smoking gun is a twenty eight pages. Be for real. Saudi Arabia is nothing to do with this whatsoever. It's our own government and don't let them pull the wool over your eyes any further about this. 9-11 was an inside job. The only way it could have been done is if we orchestrated it. Okay? Uh, and I mean 
for those of you who are new to this, just just do some basic research, and you'll find you'll find the truth. There's so much documentation and information out there to expose to you all this stuff. E even talking about uh, Building Seven, so the hijackers made Building Seven fall down too, huh? And then Building Seven wasn't hit by a plane, and 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 all of a sudden it it fell, it imploded too. I mean, come on, guys, use your head. All right, even if it were physically possible for for a, for for a plane or two to take down two buildings and make it three four I think it was like four buildings can you include building seven and something else so these planes were able to do all of that and even take down a building that um, that was not hit by a plane and then have all these buildings pancake on themselves and then they have nothing left of the buildings hmm and then to have cars within multiple ten block radiuses catch on fire and implode. Hmm. All these facts, people. Come on, do the math to that. Oh, and then the hijackers also must have had uh, amazing magical powers to allow cell phone calls from forty thousand feet in the air. And we did not have that technology back then. The cell phones that we had back then were, were absurd. They dropped calls. They were ridiculous. Come on. But yet they they had this power to do that. All right. Let me get off of that and move on to the last thing because this video is going long. The whole thing with this whole election thing, too, you guys, they're trying to make you think that if, um, if you know, if, uh, if if Trump wins, you know, then it's going to be bad for the markets. So if Cruz wins, it's going to be good for the markets. You know, they, these the present election has absolutely nothing to do with the market. Okay, nothing. All right, their policies are the same. Trump is not the president. He's not going to be the next president. His job was to be a front runner for Hillary Clinton. This is Hillary's race. Hillary's going to be the next president. That's what they want. They want you to believe that Trump is the black sheep. No one likes. Everyone's trying to do things to keep him uh, out of the White House. That's all bunk. It's a lie. It's not true. His job is to get Hillary elected and still votes from everybody else. And at the appropriate time, he's going to bow out of the race. If things don't go their way, he'll stay in there. And still, they'll make sure that she gets more votes than him. Uh, at the end of the day, his job is to make sure that no one takes this election away from Hillary. Think about it. The guy is related to her. All the presidents, save one, have been related to each other. He has given untold amounts of money to her campaign over the years. He was front and center at at, uh, at her what daughter's wedding, whatever. Come, I mean, come on, man. The facts speak for themselves. Don't be suckered into this. There's no Democrat and Republican. They're all the same behind closed doors. They vote. The presidents have no power. It's the shadow government that has the power. The people behind the scenes that make all the decisions. And he's just a spokesperson to say and puppet what they want him to say and puppet in, the, in front of the cameras. It's just that simple. Don't think anything differently. All right? So I said a lot in the video. I wanted to do more, but time is, is getting away from us here. This is going long. I just wanted you to see the manipulation in the market and the desperate attempt today to save and rescue the U.S. dollar. That's all I got for now. Remember, take what you can, give nothing back.